adjustments for game two, or do you kind of just keep doing what's working for you? How does how do you approach it? Kind of keep doing what's working for you, but harder. Uh, they're going to come out with more firepower, uh, with more adjustments and things like that. So we just got to continue to do what we're doing. Uh, if not adjust, then you know, just keep playing hard. What do you think worked best for you guys defensively last game? Not just against Luca, but entirely as a group. Everybody was just, you know, everybody was in their positions. Everybody was uh, ready to go. Everybody was in the uh, help positions. They were ready to help for the next guy. So I feel like a lot of those things played big in our uh, win against him last game. Where does the communication kind of factor into that? And just the, 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 it seems like you guys are all on the same page collectively right now and being able to talk to each other and kind of, just, you know, I guess, operate that way. I mean, it starts here and shoot around, and then uh, obviously it builds into the game. And then once you get to the game, I feel like, you know, holding each other accountable with, within holding yourself accountable was huge. Uh, I feel like, you know, when the next guy is holding himself accountable uh, and then he's, he's there to hold the next guy accountable, you know, we're, we're able to listen to that because we see he's holding himself to a high standard. So uh, we're, over, we're able to listen to that and apply and adjust and do what we're supposed to do. So that's big for us right now. And then when you guys are kind of in the flow offensively and like you had it going and they were keep coming back to you and back to you, do you kind of sense the confidence in the group around you? When you're in the when you're in the flow offensively and they keep coming back to you and coming back to you when you're having success, do you sense kind of the confidence that they have in you to keep feeding you and get you rolling that way? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they I know this team never lost confidence in you playing or not playing. It doesn't you know, every, like, like I said, like we've said a hundred times, like this team is really deep, so anybody can get it going at any given moment. So that's definitely something I would say that would keep me going, though. I mean, there's a stretch there where it was tough. You guys weren't winning games, and Austin even talked about he knew he had confidence in this group. He knew you guys had the potential to do what you're doing and, and winning games. Explain that maybe trust or what you saw in this team to know that you guys would figure it out eventually. Just how special it is. I mean, like moments like that. I mean, you know, you're bound for a, a better, a better moment or a better time. I would say, uh, just to have that confidence is big. You know, you you you're getting that from your from the, from a next teammate or a next guy or a next coach or whatever the case may be. So it's keeping you uplifted and um, I would say, like, you know, just keeping that momentum will help you in games where you haven't been in situations or such such things like that. I mean, it's huge. Like I said before, I mean. Everybody on this team can go. Everybody knows that they can go. So being having that confidence uh, from the next person is, is huge.